Hey everybody, I'm Juhi Pandey and you are watching Times Drive. Now people interested in bikes and cars love to bicker about all sorts of things. Lamborghini versus Ferrari, Yamaha versus Honda, petrol versus diesel. Intrepid as we are, we decided to tackle these issues head on with both variants of the new Skoda Laura. Here's what Joel and Kabir got. Since the dawn of time, there are some questions that have troubled the human mind endlessly. Is there life on other planets? Does God exist? And if he does, what was he thinking when he made Britney Spears? And really, What's better, petrol or diesel? It's the kind of question we get asked almost every day and so we decided to put an end to this debate once and for all. To help us out, we've got with us the Laura and, well, the Laura. What we're trying to do here is pretty complex for our little brains, but here's what it is. If you keep everything else in an equation constant except for one variable, then you can find out exactly how much of a difference that variable makes. In this case, we are about to find the difference between a petrol and a diesel engine. So which one will win the day? There's only one way to find out. What I have with me today is the four-cylinder, two-litre pump-used diesel engine. Now this turbocharged engine does do about 140 brake horsepower and for a relatively small diesel, it feels pretty good. Now hit the gas and you're moving pretty quickly, save for a small bit of pump-deuce lag. Now in case you didn't know, pump-deuce is macho-sounding Deutsch for what basically is a turbocharger. The petrol engine on this Laura is a turbo as well. It's 1.8 litres, which is about 200cc lesser than the diesel version. However, this produces 160 brake horsepower, which is 20 more than the diesel. You might wonder how, because petrol is a spirit and diesel is an oil. sounds like a science lesson, simply put, that means that petrol burns more completely and more efficiently than diesel. So it generates power a little more effectively. So like they say in all those sex advice columns, it's not how much you've got, but what you can do with it that really counts. So as far as sheer power is concerned, petrols have diesels beaten. Unless you're driving an Audi R10 TDI, every petrol engine will be quicker than a diesel of the same size. Show off! Well, the petrol engine on your Laura might have the diesel beat for sheer power, but my diesel engine does have an ace up its sleeve. Talk. My engine has 320 newton meters of torque. How much torque does your engine have? Now we have these cordless intercom devices so that we can keep in touch. But the thing is, I can't hear him. The engine is so bleeding loud. Now my engine does 320 newton meters of torque while Kabir can only manage 250. And that's one of the biggest advantages of diesel engines, the sheer amount of torque that you can get. Now simply put, torque is twisting force. Pick up that lunge that you feel when you push down on the pedal. Which is why if we were at a traffic light, Kabir would be eating my dust before he could even blink. I guess sometimes size does really matter. Another reason why petrols are looked upon as refined options and diesel slightly low-grade ones is because how quiet and smooth and refined petrol engines are. I mean, look at this one. This hardly makes a sound.
But yes, one of the common cliches about diesel engines is that they are loud and clattering. And yes, I grant you that they are not as quiet as a petrol. But given the sheer amount of work that companies, especially the VW group that owns Skoda, have been doing on diesels, they are a lot quieter and far more refined than they used to be. Ten years ago, I would be wearing earplugs on a long drive. Today, the noise is just a minor irritant. Here's where I spring the ace in the petrol car's hole. Price. In the sub-25 lakh category, which is really where people are buying the cars, diesels are almost 20% more expensive than petrols. Take the Swift for example. The base petrol costs about 4.2 lakhs. The diesel will really dent your pocket. We're talking about 5 lakhs for the base diesel. And that trend continues with the Lora as well. While the fully loaded petrol can be yours for 13.31 lakh rupees, if it's the diesel you want, you'd be writing a check for 18.05. So that's almost 5 lakh rupees more. Makes you wonder, is it worth it? Yes, yes it is. And considering that diesel engines are inherently more fuel efficient, they are also cheaper to run. But then there's that huge initial cost difference. Now the rule of thumb is this. If you are driving more than 30 kilometers per day, buying a diesel will be worth your while as you will recover the extra initial cost with the savings from using a cheaper fuel. On the other hand, if you are using your car as a general city commuter slash runabout, then you should probably go the petrol way. It will be cheaper to buy and slightly more expensive than the diesel to run. Now that we have the entire petrol diesel issue worked out, here's a look at what made the news this week. Last week it was the jazz and the hatchback bonanza continues. The rebirth of Fiat continues this week with the Grande Punto which was launched in Delhi. The Punto comes with a choice of two petrol engines, the 1.2 litre and 1.4 litre fire which put out 67 and 89 bhp each and the 75 bhp 1.3 litre diesel. The base petrol version costs 3.99 lakh rupees and the top end will set you back by 5.6 lakhs. While prices for the diesel begin at 4.85 going all the way up to the Emotion. While prices for the diesel begin at 4.8 lakhs and go all the way to the feature packed Emotion which costs 6.11 lakh rupees. Now if you are a 0 to 60 kind of biker this one should be right up your racetrack. TVS has just unveiled the Apache RTR 180. Cosmetically, it's the same with some very subtle changes. What's new is the 180cc engine, which belts out 17 bhp and boasts of a top pack of 125 km per hour. Other standard bits include front and rear disc brakes and an electric starter. The RTR is priced at 63,990 rupees ex showroom Delhi. And finally, Audi have announced three new engines for the A4. Joining the 2-litre TDI is the 3-litre turbo diesel also found in the A6 and the Q7. A couple of new turbo petrols are on offer as well. Prices for the 3-litre TDI start at 36.4 lakh rupees ex showroom Mumbai, while the base 1.8 TFSI costs 26.67 lakhs off the shelf. The 2-litre TSFI commands a price of 28.54 lakhs in Mumbai. 